Help me not out. Dad's in the car waiting. Did you put Pandora out? Yes. Did Dad feed Pixel? Yes, Mom. Oh, the baby. Where's the baby? In the car. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, you two. Let's go. Out, out, out. Flip the Firefly here, reporting for duty. Click on the picture with your name under it to continue playing a game you stopped earlier. If none of the pictures have your name, just double-click on one that isn't being used right now and type your name under it. Your friend's game will be kept in a safe place until the next time they type in their name again. It's just your imagination, nighttime fascination. Turn on your night light, cause things aren't what they seem. Turn on your night light, switch on that magic beam. Turn on your night light, you'll get a big surprise. Cause things will change before your very eyes. There they go! This is your chance, big guy. Tonight's a perfect night for snooping. Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I can't wait to get started. Nothing like snoozing on a night like this. I said snooping, as in snooping around the house. Well, how about you? Want to snoop along with us? Just pick a place to go. We'll have Flip join in the fun, too. <laughs> this is Pixel. This is Pandora the Cat. <laughs> yup, the, the, the garage. Well, well, the backyard. Hmm, the kitchen. The bathroom's a fine choice. Ah, the bedroom! Uh, yeah, the, 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 uh, the, the attic! Shh! This room's the nursery! Click on this to meet the construction crew! A lot of people had way too much fun building this game! This lets you see who they are! The living room? This place gives me the creeps. The go There's always something to do in the garage, like sleep in a car or chase a mouse. Yeah, if you ask me, it's creepy in here. I want to go back in the house. To slide a puck on ice, I'd pick this thing they call a hockey stick. I wonder what else all this darkness will bring. Oh my gosh, here's a clown, and his neck is a spring. You must sit in this car seat to be driving for real, but most kids can't see over the steering wheel. If powered, this robot might soon be alive. Then watch it attempt to go out for a drive. Are some man-eaters loose? Oh, I hope that they're not. So now why is this man being cooked in a pot? Ta-da! Wow! Great work! You know what you're doing! Let's patrol the backyard, Pix! Isn't that what guard dogs are for? Mm, actually, when it's dark like this, I like to stay close to the door. So there's a dinosaur with a neck as graceful as a swan. But that doesn't mean he's nice. In fact, tell me when he's gone. Can you see the swimming dinosaur?
pokes from this three-horned fellow made its enemies take hops. Although he is quite mellow, this big triceratops. Tangle with his tail and you might end up with a spine. He's like a giant prehistoric porcupine. Can you find the stegosaurus? That big guy's a great hunter with all his teeth and claws. But let's see him fetch a stick and retrieve balls. Can you see the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Here's a four-legged creature that is trying to speak. But it's hard when his mouth is the shape of a beak. That's it! Not too shabby! Hmm? You can't tell me there are things here to be feared! Well, between you and me, I'm seeing things that are really weird. This sea creature's eyes and eight slimy arms are just the beginning of its many <laughs> charms. This snake has spots, of that I'm certain. Disguised, it's draped just like a curtain. There's a spider on a web, he's just starting to spin. Against fangs and legs, little flies cannot win. You see the big baby monster that somebody left alone? If you think he's ugly now, imagine him full grown. It's got eyes and horns and it's some kind of troll. It's not the kind of thing you'd want in your bowl. the top of my list. Now, Pixel, what's in a bathroom that can make you upset? Well, you'll see. Going in there at night is something I regret. It moves like the mist, but it's more than just steam. Point out the ghost and try not to scream. In the name of the law, he'll ask you to stop. See him in the shadows, the creepy cowboy cop? Can you see the sheriff? I don't think an octopus can do us any harm. Point out where it is and stay away from those arms. One thing I know, it's not smart to wear a white shirt when you're in the backyard burying bones in the dirt. When you chew on that duck, it makes a squeak. How does it make a noise without opening its beak? Got me. Gee, mind if I call you champ? The well, 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 the living room. It's a great room to inspect. I'm already seeing things that makes the hair stand up on my neck. This bear has had enough to eat. Perhaps that's why he looks so sweet. I now see a serpent. I'll give it a tug. 
But how can it be swimming about on the rock? There's every kind of animal over there in Noah's Ark. See if you can spot this boat, although it's kind of dark. Ah, this doll's so cute, I can't resist her. I make believe that she's my sister. See that chess game over there, with pawns and queens and kings? I bat the pieces everywhere and scatter all those things. <laughs> Whee! Ta-da! You came, you saw, you conquered! Ah, the bedroom. Oh, I think I'll curl up for a nap. I'm feeling just a tad weary. You gotta be kidding. I could never sleep in a place that's so eerie. People think ties make them look debonair. <laughs> oh, but they're just like the leashes they make pixel wear. <laughs> oh, can you see the red and white bow tie? Oh, it's hard to get petted while you play on this board. You know, while you are all playing, I'm sometimes ignored. When they're up in the sky, they can block out the sun. But the clouds we see here have been painted for fun. <laughs> When watchdogs see dragons, we want to retire. Because who wants to tangle with a thing that breathes fire? Yeah, that horse is a fun ride, but it won't go east, west, south, or north. In fact, don't expect it to go anywhere. It only rocks back and forth. Ta-da! Wow! Wow, you sure made it look easy. The attic's a place where people keep neat, old, dusty stuff. Oh, sure, it's neat, old, and dusty, but I think I've had enough. Perhaps he's a butler from days long ago. He's holding two coats just for what I don't know. In the dark, you can see things that don't really exist. Like that unicorn there. It's only a myth. What's that gator doing here? That croc is smiling ear to ear. When I see a duck that big, I think it's a person in disguise. To find out, I just might chase it and see if it flies. I'd, I'd take that surfboard to the beach to ride a rushing wave, but I'd end up as someone that the lifeguard has to save. Whee! Wow! You did it! I bow to your talent. What could be scary about the room where Baby sleeps? Hey, I love this place, but sometimes, though, it gives me the creeps. 
I think I see a baby locked in a prison cell. But don't trust me. My eyes don't work that well. Sorry. If eating this carrot could better my sight, I'd eat a whole bunch and see clearer at night. I see a big-eyed vulture who's showing off a weird plume. I don't know where he belongs, but definitely not in this room. If that, if that quilt wasn't hanging, I would lay on it quickly. A nice quilt put on anything makes it not prickly. Missed. Nope. Must be somewhere else. Uh-uh. I'll stay out of the way of that red-hot lava flow. As a rule, I don't swim in rivers that glow. Ta-da! Good job! Was that a breeze or what? Mike, Mike Miles did the voice of Pixel. <laughs> Mike, of course, isn't really scared of the dark. Most of the time. The people who tested this product were Rob Sablon, Stuart Spilkin, and Randall Williams. Special thanks to Lori Nichols, Shane Bessie, and Jason White. Mary Rice Hopkins sang the Nightlight theme song. Jay Leverson worked some sound magic and helped our mouths say just the right words. Son Dao is a designer who helped this game look as good as it does. Danny Ayala is the senior Macintosh engineer who wrote all kinds of special software to make us come to life. Steve Lomas is the principal designer and project lead for Nightlight and the founding director of the Interactive Toy Group. Lynn McCarty was the lead lingo engineer on the project. She programmed this game from dawn to dusk. Marvin Dumonchon provided technical and artistic help to the team. Lauren Morimoto is the production assistant who helped us say the right things. G. Collins led the testing group, shining a light on all the glitches she could find. Dave Finney is the software doctor who made the flashlight and the magnifier work on Windows. Sal Periscondolo is the group manager and script editor who did some writing, arithmetic, and helped us make it through the dark. Terry Barnum recorded and digitized the sounds you hear. Tim Bank is a lingo engineer who helped program this game. David Sables wrote the background music and the Nightlight theme song. Dominic Villez is the audio engineer who recorded the sounds you hear. Tim Tim Brol is the digital video editor who helped create these wacky credits. Donnie Lou was the product marketing manager who made sure we would reach you without tripping on something. Susan Hayden painted the nursery and helped with the attic. They looked so real I could lay down and uh, go to sleep. Darren is the master painter who painted most of these perfectly realistic places. Karen Winter assisted in the administration of this enlightened group. Glenn Stroh provided great graphic production assistance. Michelle Light laid out the places you explored and she's the animator who designed and created us. Dan 
Spurn is the managing engineer who provided spiritual guidance to the software team. Michelle Jeanette is one of the programmers who helped things work on Windows. Robin Ashley worked with the Windows engineering team. Lonnie Manella did all the voices for the characters and wrote the scripts so we know what to say. Hey, you know what? That was actually a lot of fun! Sure it was! Let's play again! Uh, yeah, uh, right now? Well, to quit, click on the suitcases up there. To play again, click on anything else. We'll leave it up to you.